It is said that some electricians used to short the mains electricity with their fingers as a fast method of finding out if the power reaches the power outlet. So I will test this to see if it's a sensible thing to do. See, no problem at all. Ok, I'm cheating. I've connected these resistors in series with the power cord, so there's a voltage division between my fingers and the resistors and therefore the voltage drop over my fingers is in fact a lot less than 220 volts. So why does the multimeter show 220 volts? Let's look at the circuit. This is what the circuit looks like before touching the wires. A resistor with the equivalent resistance of 275 kilo ohms in series with the open circuit but it can also be seen as a closed circuit with a resistor with close to infinity resistance. This way we can apply the formula for voltage division to find out the voltage of the open circuit. The voltage of a certain component in a series network is given by the voltage over the whole network times the resistance or impedance for this component divided by the summed up resistance of all components in the series network. By putting in our values we can see that the output voltage is the same as the input voltage no matter what series resistance. If we look at the circuit when it's closed by my fingers which has a resistance of about 200 kilo ohms, we can see that the voltage drop over my fingers is only about 93 volts. Now, Theoretically I could do this with a very high series resistance and there would be only a tiny voltage drop over my fingers. But because the multimeter draws some current during measurement there is actually a voltage division between the series resistance and the multimeter. So for this bluff to work I will have to tolerate a quite noticeable voltage. But the current is limited by the series resistance. We can see how the voltage drops as I'm touching the wires. It's a tingling sensation. For those of you who've tried the electric chair at the arcade, I can tell you that the vibrating handles simulate a small current going through you very well. So, is it possible that electricians actually did this? Yeah, probably. There have most certainly been people who thought, I'm not getting my equipment for this, I'm going for it. And if you know exactly what safety measures are needed, the current will only go through your fingers and you will probably get away with it. But there are many things that can go wrong. Your skin is a good shield against electricity. A small cut on your finger could yield a much undesired outcome. Thank you for watching.